Hi guys, we've got a little video here. Uh, the other week an old lady rang me up, she just bought a new microwave to replace her old one and uh, when it was cooking she could feel air rushing through the door around this uh, outer casing here and she rang me up because she was concerned it was actually leaking microwaves. Um, well it's difficult to explain to an old lady but I am, I'm going to show you in this video the actual secrets of the microwave door. Right, okay, so that's the microwave door open. Um, first we'll touch on this part around here, this metal part. Now if you look just above it, there's a plastic part. Uh, that plastic part there is called a choke cover. Now you might think that's a strange name for a piece of plastic on a microwave. Um, so we'll get the service manual out for a sharp microwave oven. Um, I'll open on the page and if we look at the all the um, the parts of the door we come down to here it says choke cover removal now that is the the plastic piece around there so what I'm going to do is just stop the camera I'm going to pop it off this one and I'll just uh, I'll show you right okay so that's the plastic choke cover off now if you look inside the door with the cover off this structure here is actually a u-shaped piece very difficult to see on the camera Let's see if we can zoom in um, it's just a u-shaped bit of metal now what a lot of people don't realize is this u-shaped piece of metal is actually a quarter wave choke and this is tuned to a quarter of the microwave wavelength operating frequency um, now it just looks like an ordinary piece of metal but when you consider this the actual the gap when the doors close the gap between here and here actually forms uh, two plates of a capacitor this side of the capacitor is earthed and this is um, not earthed so the two plates of the capacitor in series with a quarter wave choke formed by this metal housing round here um, that actually the whole of the perimeter of the door around here is actually radio frequency sealed to microwaves. Um, I'll just stop the camera a minute. Right, okay, I'll draw a little diagram. So here we've got um, the RF choke, which is actually formed by this part here of the door. Um, the capacitor here is actually formed by the door air gap. Uh, the top plate of the capacitor is formed by the outer choke part. And the bottom part of the capacitor there, which is earthed, is formed by this door frame. So when the door closes, then you've got this capacitor between the door. So around the perimeter of the door, um, any microwaves appearing around there are effectively shorted to ground by this circuit. And that's the reason why the door actually needs an air gap because this capacitor here is formed by the door air gap itself so that's why when you close the door you can actually get a piece of paper down here because it's um, it's an air gap to make a capacitor and um, that's why you get air rushing out the door and people don't realize that um, now if we look on there there's a burn mark on the bottom plate of the capacitor uh, now that's actually caused by a speck of rust on there um, on the choke itself there's a bit of rust and when the door closes um, it reduces the air gap and it's actually sparking between there and the door so really um, the microwave scrap because you need a, a new cavity and you'd also need um, a new choke on the door but that's the reason why you get when you close a microwave and it's working you get air rushing out of here because the door is actually a quarter wave uh, choke which seals the whole perimeter um, of the door with the door capacitance when it's closed to any RF leakage um, now the other little thing which is not really rocket science the holes in the door they let light through because of the light's very short wavelength um, they don't let any microwaves through because if we take a look at this the domestic microwave operating frequency 2450 megs or 2.45 gigahertz um, a quarter of wave of 
2.45 gig is three centimeters so you'd actually need a three centimeter hole in the door before it actually leaks any microwaves out of these holes so there you go guys that is the secret of the uh, the microwave door